Hey traders, what's happening? Jamie Setley here. It is July 15th, 2020. And we're going to look at Aussie. We've looked at Aussie a lot in these videos. We've also looked at Pound a lot in these videos. Um, but we're looking at Aussie for several reasons. Uh, mostly technical, of course, but you do have the employment uh, data tonight out of Australia. So, you know, it's nice to know uh, before a big event, you know, kind of what's going on with the chart, where we are in the bigger picture. So, a couple things. This is a daily chart. Um, the huge rally, obviously, from the March low, right? Well, today, uh, we tagged that big, you know, area above 70 again, and we have pulled back from that level. Uh, and again, this is a huge level, okay? This is the level from December 31st right 2019 um you know just look across the chart to the left and you've got a lot of important you know pivots on this going all the way back really to october of 2018 so we've got an important horizontal level uh, that the market is trading on uh, also i've got a measurement here you can see if i measure from this level to this level right and then from this level so this would be a, a, an extension um, it subdivides by 0.618, okay? So you can see one, two, three, four, five, pull back. And then maybe this is a five with the truncation. I'm not sure. Either way, it's a big level, um, not just horizontally, but based on fibs as well. All right, now I want to take you into uh, some of my volume charts here. Okay, so... We have a four hour volume reversal. Now granted, um, you know, these aren't gonna work all the time, but sometimes you get unreal signals. And really it's the important thing is, is combining, you know, the signal or the alert. Uh, I really shouldn't call it a signal per se, but the alert with the, um, with the level, okay? And then I'm gonna throw something else into it in just a bit as well. Uh, it's a weight of evidence approach, as we call it, right? All right, so we have a four-hour volume reversal here. What that means is that the market uh, traded higher, okay, on, you know, higher than average volume, um, specifically 50% higher than average volume. And then the, immediately, the immediate next bar was down on at least 50% higher than average volume, okay? And if we just look back, let's go back and look back a couple of years and see some of these signals on the short side. So you had one back here in uh, December 2018, pretty good. Had one over here in Jan 2019, pretty good. Fast forward, false signal over here uh, in September 2019. Some good long signals in 2019, a short signal on the last day of 2019. Uh, and then we had a bunch of false you know, signals uh, really no follow through on them anyway until the low, which was a buy. We had a sell here, which again, never got followed through anyway, but we have one right now. Okay. So again, we have one at a very important price level. Uh, so, you know, we've got an action uh, at the level. That's, you know, to me, that's a big thing for a setup. Now, if we look, let's go back to that price chart real quick. Let's zoom in on like an hourly or something. Uh, all right. If I just put on a trend line here off these lows, because what you want is also a level to, you know, uh, to trade the break off of. So this is the level that you want to trade the break on. Basically draw a line off these lows in June. Um, and you can see, you know, if you extend the line back to the left, you can see the key support on that spike. Back on March 8th, um, you know, crosses perfectly the, the April 29th high. And then, of course, a bunch of lows uh, throughout June as well as July. So, basically, break that 69.20 area or so, and Aussie should be uh, off to the races to the downside. Uh, I did say I was going to bring in one more chart here, and that is actual uh, actually seasonality. So, seasonal tendencies... Uh, actually turn negative after this week, okay? So black is actually the current price uh, um, or the actual chart of the Australian dollar on weekly closes. And then in red, we have 
uh, 30-year seasonality uh, down here. We have green and five, uh, black 10, and magenta is 20. So you can see that all you know look back periods for seasonal tendencies do turn down, uh, except for 10, which actually turns down after next week. But anyway, that is a good example of kind of what I look for in a uh, setup or a speculation, right? We've got seasonals turning down. We had a volume signal at a huge level. Uh, and we also have a trigger line on that short term chart right here. All right. And we have an event coming up. So you've got something that could trigger this, um, you know, potentially on the downside, or you could get a spike higher in reverse or whatever. But you want to know when the events are coming out, irrespective of, you know, whether or not you trade based on the so-called fundies or not, which, again, are going to be mostly backward looking anyway. All right. So that is it. Uh, again, this is an Australian dollar video with Jamie Setley here on July 15, 2020, thinking top up here. And that's about it. All right. Take care. Good luck.